Coming up in ViewCast, how do you get a Vandy football player back in the game after kidney surgery? Have you had your bell rung lately? And the footsteps of greatness Vandy style. Hi, I'm Carol Bartu. What happens when a Vanderbilt football player faces a sudden kidney illness that threatens his college career and even his life? As Barb Kramer reports, a special surgical technique pioneered at Vanderbilt using the tiniest of tools gets one veteran player back on the field in record time. He's number 38, Fitz Lassing, a starter on the Vanderbilt football team for three years. His position, fullback. I'd say it's probably about 80% blocking. You run into people a lot, and that's just part of the game. You learn to love it. But Fitz's football career took a hit last fall. He got sick, nausea and extreme stomach cramps just weeks before the first game. Uh, over time, I think he would have eventually lost all function of that kidney. Team urologist Duke Carroll says tests showed the connector from Fitz's right kidney to his bladder wasn't working, causing a backup in his kidney, slowly destroying it. It needed to be fixed. Instead of cutting through the abdomen with the typical tools, Harrell used tools the width of a pencil, the smallest ever used for kidney reconstruction surgery. It's a technique he pioneered at Vanderbilt. In surgery like this, Harrell repaired the kidney problem using a camera through a small hole to see his work. And we did all of this, in essence, on the inside of his body using only two openings for small instruments, three millimeter instruments, and a small uh, port that was really hidden in his belly button. Dr. Hill. Hey Fitz, how are you? Fitz was out of the hospital the next day and back to light workouts within two weeks. Can I take a look at your yeah. decisions here? The only external evidence of the surgery, three almost invisible scars. Just six weeks after the surgery, Fitz was back playing for the black and gold. No, no pain, felt totally normal. After the first couple of hits, I really didn't think about it anymore. Love Fitz Lassen. Uh, he's been a really good player. He's been a multiple year starter for us. Parents want to know that their kids are going to be in great hands. And when you have one of the world's finest hospitals right here on our, our campus, that's great for us in recruiting. For Fitz Lassing, the microsurgery pioneered at Vanderbilt helped keep him playing the game he loves. In Nashville, Barb Kramer reporting. It's not just all about football for Fitz. He is on schedule to graduate in December. We are used to seeing football players getting their bell rung each weekend, but it's not just about football in this news you can use. At least 300,000 sports-related concussions occur each year in this country, and that includes cheerleaders, soccer players, and the weekend sports nuts. Research shows that young children are the most susceptible since their brains are just developing. Nearly all sports enthusiasts do want to be put back into the game no matter what their passion might be. But experts say when in doubt, sit them out. Remove the athlete from play even if he or she insists that they're fine, and then have the athlete evaluated by a healthcare professional. For a detailed list of concussion symptoms and more, go to our homepage, type in Concussions Vanderbilt Expert. I am always amazed at the people at Vanderbilt who are making a difference, changing the world one idea at a time. If you want to see just who some of those remarkable people are, Vanderbilt's institutional spot played during televised football and basketball games is a great way to remember. Around here, you're walking in the footsteps of people who've made a difference. Game changers, scholars, philosophers, those relentless people who never stop asking why. The ones who had the gall to think they could change the world and the guts to prove they were right. Choose your path, choose Vanderbilt. In case you were wondering, those really were Nobel Prize winner Stanley Cohen's shoes. For ViewCast, I'm Carol Bartu, and I approve of this message.